So we're halfway through the 2018 golf season and I've been reviewing golf clubs now since the start of the year. What are my top five for giving irons for game improvement? Let's take a look. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing. I've got loads of great content coming throughout the rest of 2018 and into 2019. If you like club reviews, if you like club comparisons, if you like course vlogs, if you like golf tips absolutely free of charge, hit the thumbs up, click subscribe below and comment below for what you want to see. Now let's get back to the top five forgiving irons that I've tested so far in 2018. So to kick things off, I would like to say that I have tested the PXG Gen 2 SGI, Super Game Improvement Irons. They're not gonna be on this list because I feel as though you at home deserve to see the top five irons that you can afford. Now I'm not saying that you can't afford PXG because I'm sure a lot of you can, but I know the majority of people watching probably can't. Yes, the PXG clubs would be up there, they would be in the top five, but they're not purely on the price range. Coming in at number five. At number five, I've got Ping's G700 iron. Now this year I compared the G700 with the G400 and it seemed way more forgiving. The forgiveness of the hollow body and the hollow club head really pays dividends for Ping in this club. Aesthetically, it looks way better than anything Ping have brought out game improvement wise in the last few years. It does look almost like that tailor-made P790 range. Really sleek, looks more like a player's iron even though it's not. Ping say this is their highest flying, longest traveling iron to date, and I'm pretty sure they're correct. That's my number five. Coming in at number four, I have the Wilson C300 irons. Not the forged irons, not the players ones. Obviously this is a forgiveness review, and the power holes all the way around the face in the Wilson C300, together with its playability I found, and also how stable it felt at impact, brings it into my top five at number four. I thought the Wilson, together with its price, not to mention the price, is an outstanding club for the money. What's number three? Coming in at number three, I have the Mizuno JPX 900 Hot Metal, and it pretty much is everything it says on the tin or on the head. The JPX 900 Hot Metal is an outstanding golf club and could quite easily have come number one. All of my clubs in the top three are fantastic golf clubs, and I really struggled to split them. I found personally when I tested the JPX 900 Hot Metals, they didn't fly too high, so I could flight them down if I wanted to, which is a massive thing for forgiving irons. Sometimes you find them just go up, and up, and up, and up. Whereas I felt I could keep a nice trajectory with these and they would go the distance the majority of the time. Consistency is a massive thing when we are talking iron. The technology going into the heads of these JPX 900 hot metals, they even created a new substance. Mizuno introduced chromolic, chromoly. I think I'm saying that right. And Mizuno say that the JPX 900 hot metal combines offensive ball speed offensive ball speed with the adjustability of a forged iron what's in at number two in at number two we have the tailor-made m4 iron i tested this earlier on in the year against the tailor-made m3 iron and for me it just made the m3 iron a tiny bit redundant yes the m3 is smaller it is more of a player's iron but tailor-made have that many irons out this year i just don't see a place for the m3 the m4 however does feel a bit hard off the face you do still get a decent feel and the rib core technology gives you outstanding forgiveness on those off center hits keep and keeps the ball speed up not to mention we still have the speed slots in the bottom what a club this has been in 2018 so far now what is number one number one on my list is an iron i haven't comprehensively reviewed as of yet but i did use a full set of these on holiday as rental clubs and found them outstanding. When I got the clubs given to me, I was really disappointed. I thought, what am I gonna do with these? Professional golfer playing with, are you ready? The Titleist 718 AP1. Let's have a round of applause. These irons are absolutely outstanding. They go for miles, hit them out the toe, hit them out the heel. They will still go a distance. I cannot believe how good these irons are. If anybody's a mid to high handicapper, distance is something you struggle with with irons and you struggle getting the strikes out the center every time. Take a look at the Titleist AP1. Now the AP3 could have stolen this. The AP3 is a fantastic golf club. However, it doesn't really offer the, offer the forgiveness of the AP1. 
which is what this video is all about and it doesn't offer you the workability of the AP2 which is what the video is not all about so for me the AP1 takes it what a golf club it is go and see your PGA Pro see what works for you this is a personal video to me this is what I found worked I really enjoyed these clubs I enjoyed them out the middle I enjoyed them out the toe I enjoyed them out the heel they are fantastic game improvement clubs a couple of clubs I haven't tried yet, which I would like to, is, is the Callaway Rogues. I'd like to try the Cobra Irons. So you might find another video coming up at the end of the year, my top five irons at the end of 2018, as opposed to now. That's just about it from me for this video. They were my top five irons so far of 2018. I hope you've enjoyed that content. Put the thumbs up if you have. Comment below, what's your favorite forgiving iron of 2018? I've been James Robinson here at Huddersfield Golf Club. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon.